What's going on guys? I'm Jimmy and I'm here with One Road. Today we're not going to be working on anything, but what we are going to be doing is towing with my truck. I'm just now picking my truck up from the airport long-term parking and I have to actually tow a trailer, a 6x12 trailer from U-Haul all the way back from Texas to Washington. So it's going to be a pretty big haul and the trailer is going to be loaded. So this should be fun. For those of you who don't know, my truck is a 1995 GMC Suburban and uh, this thing only has about 60, 70,000 miles on it, I think. I'm finally here picking it up. It's been sitting here for about two months in the long-term parking. And uh, gotta go pay the bill and get on the road. So one thing I haven't done yet is started it up. This thing has been sitting here for two months, guys. Almost two months, I think. Um, but I did get a fresh oil change right before I let it sit here. Um, so the oil should be good, uh, full. And uh, there is a fairly new battery installed in this thing. It's a Costco battery. Um, so we'll hope that the battery is still charged. My clicker did work to unlock the door, so it does have some sort of power, but uh, we'll see if this thing starts. All right, here we go. The maiden start. Ooh. Wow. That was a little bit hard. And just like that, this trailer behind me is completely loaded to the brim. Like you couldn't put a hair in there. It's so, it's so loaded. Uh, you can see my Suburban 1995. Earlier I said it had 67,000 miles, but it actually has 71,000 miles. Um, fresh oil change, just put a whole 32 ounce bottle of uh, Marvel Mystery Oil in the gas tank, filled it up with premium. And uh, I'm gonna try to clean it out as I go. I bought five more of those Marvel Mystery Oil 32 ounce bottles from Walmart. They're like $3.80. By the way, my tank is 43 gallon gas tank. And um, that's according to the dosage on the Marvel Mystery Oil bottle. That's like double the dosage you're supposed to give. I think it's every four ounces, or four ounces for every 10 gallons of gas. Here's my, uh, my rig. You can see I got a mattress up top. And uh, it's a six by 12 trailer. We're gonna see how this thing does going, gosh, what is it, 2,000 miles? <laughs> Should be fun. Well, good morning. Uh, I've been driving for a little bit today. Already got a little more gas. I went to a Texaco and filled up on uh, premium. It was $2.87, I think, per gallon. And after calculating my fuel mileage, I was getting a little over 10 miles a gallon, which I feel like is pretty good towing this really heavy trailer. The truck is doing great. The only thing that I'm having is one of the uh, ends of the strap keeps blowing in the wind, but I'll just, I just put it, stuff it back under there and then it's fine. Had to stop and use the restroom and get some food. And this is the first time that I've, I think I've ever got a breakfast uh, meal from, uh, where am I, Taco Bell? Yeah, <laughs> that's what it is. I don't know about that, guys. If my wife sees this, she's gonna kill me. I've been driving all day and all night, guys. I mean, forever. Um, I, I think I have about 960 miles to go to get uh, to Washington, uh, to Spokane area. Um, but I also wanted to show that the truck's doing great. Temperatures have been pretty much there or even lower at times, um, which I'm actually curious why the temperature has been so low on this thing. Um, volts have been good. Um, you know, this thing's getting about, I think roughly, I would say 11 miles a gallon or so. I feel like that's pretty good, 11 to 11 and a half miles a gallon, you know, and I'm going up some pretty steep grades at times, um, you know, kicking it down in, into third and even second gear just to get up those hills. But I mean, this is a heavy trailer, like really heavy, like packed to the brim, six by 12. Um, and uh, this thing seems to be handling it well. The truck's running really good. 
Um, I've been using a lot of the Marvel Mystery Oil. Every time I get gas, I, I refill with Marvel Mystery Oil. Um, trying to keep that kind of uh, two ounces per 10 gallons ratio. Don't do what I'm doing. I'm doing that just because I'm uh, stupid, I guess. But the bottle says one ounce for every 10 gallons, I think. Uh, but anyways, uh, don't, don't, uh, don't do what I'm doing. I'm not following the directions. I don't know if that's good or bad, but the truck seems to be running really good, idling really smooth, and having no problems at all. Uh, I, I can't wait to finish this uh, this road trip, but on the way after after this after Wyoming, I'm gonna head into Montana, and I've never been there, so I'm really really curious what that's gonna be like. Um, hopefully, it's gonna be you know completely beautiful. But so far, Wyoming has been this pretty much uh, lots and lots of just grass plains, um, and it's just beautiful, and there, it's just open space. It's just so gorgeous. I made it to Montana. And uh, it's beautiful here, of course. The weather is amazing right now. Isn't that amazing? So I'm headed to Billings, Montana right now, and uh, I think that's where I'm just gonna call it a night. I'll find a grocery store or something, some parking lot to sleep in, maybe just for a few hours and then I'll continue on, but I just need to get some sleep. I haven't really been sleeping. Probably the last couple days I have a total of three hours of sleep. I am having an issue with my right knee and my right hip. It's hurt pretty bad, like really, really bad. So uh, every time I get out of the car, I can barely put any weight on it, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I've been heading up this uh, really steep grade for the last Gosh, it's probably been two miles now. Just seems like it's taking forever. Um, I just wanted to show you guys because, uh, you know, clearly this truck's a 95. It's not like there's all kinds of power under the hood. But I have it in second gear, and I'm trying to not really go above 3,000 RPM. I just don't want to break anything. Um, I bet the grade's probably 6% because that's what I went down a while back for a little while, so it's probably somewhat the same. Um, sticking around 40, 45 miles an hour. And you can see, hopefully, my temperature over there on the bottom right corner. I have those electric fans by Flexalite that I had installed. and. Um, I've been on a few grades and I've even done stuff like this in the summer. And yes, in the summer it got warm, but it, it never overheated. And right now, like I said, we've been at this for at least the last 10 minutes. And uh, okay, I could probably shift up now, let's see. Yeah, okay, now we're back in third. Um, but everything seems to be functioning really, really well. I'm really impressed with those fans. I do think I need to get uh, a little bit bigger of an alternator because mine's 140 amp. I think I need up in the 200 amp area. But um, yeah, everything's going well. Well guys, I made it. I made it from Austin all the way to Spokane. A long trip, I think 2100 miles. The truck handled it beautifully. I couldn't even believe how well it handled it. Anyway, so this video that I made, the purpose was more for the subscribers of this channel. This channel is called One Road. My name is Jimmy. And I want to know, do you guys want me to make more like vlog style videos? Was this fun or would you rather me stick to, hey, I'm just working on this on my vehicle um, or fixing this or, or doing this? Um, I don't know. I, I feel like vlog style videos might be interesting to some of you. So let me know down in the comments below. Um, but yeah, you can see all the stuff behind me. This is what was all in that trailer. Uh, there's nothing in this garage before I got here. So this trailer was heavy. Um, nothing happened to the truck at all.